So you've got your course here, and right now it's in topic format because it says topic. I could change it to weekly, remember, if I choose. Now, I want to edit these sections, right? So first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to go to my little sprocket up here in the upper right-hand corner, and I'm going to turn editing on. So we're now, we're not going to be editing the course settings here. We're going to be actually editing the course itself. So we're going to turn editing on, and we know that we're now in editing mode because the word edit shows up all over the place. These little pencils start showing up, and the move tools are showing up. So we're now in editing mode. And uh, we can uh, name a topic. Two ways to name a topic. One, you can click this pencil directly right here and we can name it getting started. You have to, and, and they're even telling you, you have to hit the enter when finished. If you forget to uh, hit the enter key, it just goes back to topic one. It never actually updates. So getting started and hit the enter key. Another way you could name that topic, instead of clicking on the pencil, you could go way over here to the edit uh, and edit the topic here. This is gonna give you some more information so um, uh, that you can edit. So topic, well, you can't name it until you click custom. <clears throat> um, getting deeper into the Moodle, all right, <clears throat> is my section name. Now at this point, if I hit save, boom, there it is. Now I'm gonna go back to that editing because I could give a short description of this section here and save. And then it shows up right here at the top of what's going to eventually be your list of all your learning resources that show up in this one learning section right here. Um, uh, this, you're gonna wanna keep it short because the real content is gonna be when you start adding activities or resources, but that's gonna be in a later video. Uh, don't forget, you can also uh, use that move tool to move entire sections if you want and uh, your topics will be, uh, if you haven't named them, they will automatically be updated. Like I can drag this topic four up to the top and it becomes topic two. This one now becomes topic three and this. So any labels that you've changed, they stay static when you move them around. But these topics, if you haven't changed the titles, they get updated as they get bumped around. So to add sections, let, let's say right now we've got four sections, you need more sections. Uh, down here, you just there's a plus button and it says add topics, so I'm gonna click that. And if I wanna add two new sections, this is where you enter the number of new sections that you want, so let's add two new sections. And now instead of having four topics, I now have six. Again, I could continue to rearrange them. If for some reason I no longer need a particular topic, like this topic right here, getting started, I no longer need, I'm just gonna click on edit and I can either hide that topic so that nobody in the future can see it. It's still there, it's just hidden uh, from the people. I'll always see it. Like if I do hidden, hidden topic, it, it says right here, hidden from the students. That means I can still see it. I could still even edit it if I want. Uh, just nobody's going to see it. Or I can just delete that entire topic and it says, are you sure? Absolutely. And then it's gone. I can't, I can't restore it. It's gone forever. Uh, but if for some reason I need six topics again, I can always add a topic and then I am back up to six topics. And again, I can still continue to rearrange these.